Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And with football season well underway now, I decided I'd put up another football video. This is going to be 1977 again, although it will not be the 1977 Chicago Bears. It will be the 1977 Pittsburgh Steelers, and they will be playing at home, and I will be controlling them and playing the San Francisco 49ers. So we got a little 49ers Pittsburgh action from 1977, bear in mind. So you'll have to go back in your memory to 1977 to see uh, how good you think these teams are. Actually, Pittsburgh was probably quite good at the time. Um, so um, I am actually going to launch the game and we are kicking off kicking off to the 49ers and getting this game underway and it looks like they're going to take the touch back and have it first and 10 at the 20 yard line and I am going to go with defensively I'm going to go with the um, balanced I always like to start the game with a balanced defense and we stop them quickly so San Francisco has and they have Jim Plunkett at quarterback and um, Mitchell and it looks like Jackson at the running back um, I am going to go balanced again I mean it worked well the first time and really the Pittsburgh defense can take care of itself although they can't right there wait 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 I'm gonna jump on the ball no they got it they still got it so they um, there was a fumble but they uh, recovered it themselves so San Francisco has a first and 10 at their own 33. I'm going to put in the balance again. It worked once, and we almost actually forced a fumble on second down. And like I said, this is the steel curtain defense. You would think they don't need any help. And that is an incomplete pass. Plunkett overthrows his target, and it is second and 10 for San Francisco at their own 33. I'm going to do a linebacker blitz with this fearsome, uh oh, there's a flag on the play. Hopefully it's on them. I am going to accept the penalty. I want to back them up. So they've got a second and 20 from their own 23 now. And I am going to go with the pass defense. I'm not going to double team anybody or anything special like that. We're just going to, well, he runs the ball, but he doesn't get a lot of yards. Only three yards on that play, and so they have a third and 17 now from their own 26. And I am going to put in the pass, and I'm going to double team Washington. And there is a penalty on the play again. And that, it's incomplete, but it's going to be on us, and they've got a first and 10 now at the San Francisco 41. That must have been one hell of a penalty. I'm going to put in the linebacker blitz again. And this time it does not work at all, although they do only again get three yards. So San Francisco has a second and seven now at, at their own 44. I'm going to look for the run. I'm looking, them to, I'm looking for them to run the ball, and they're not going to do that. And they get a lot of yards. So that pass that was swung out to Tom Mitchell, and he got some yards out of it. They have a first and 10 at the Steeler 41 now. I'm looking for the pass on first down, and he is going to pass, and we sack Plunkett. Thank you. About time this uh, Pittsburgh Steel Curtain defense actually showed up. So they've got a second and 17 at our 48. I am going to put in the... Uh, I'm going to put in the balanced again. I'm going to go back to the balanced. I don't usually keep going back to the balanced, but it seems to work versus San Francisco. And it worked pretty well there. They only got five yards. So they have a third and 12 now at the Pittsburgh 43. I am going to put in the pass. I'm not even going to designate double teaming anybody. I'm just going to put in a pass defense. And we sack Plunkett again. So San Francisco, I assume, is going to punt. Looks like they will, and I'm going to put in the punt return. 
the or the uh, pun return, yeah, the pun return, and he is doing a coffin corner. And we will have it uh, first and ten at our own seventeen. And Terry Bradshaw lining up with Blyer and Harris in the backfield. This is the first time we've even touched the ball. I'm going to go line buck with Harris. And he gets some nice yards there. We had a second and four. I'm going to go line buck with Blyer. And he gets the first down. So we've got a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 27. And I am going to go end run with Harris. I mean, why not? We might as well keep the ball on the ground. We're moving it on the ground on the San Francisco defense. And it is a second and five. Uh, Harris, Franco Harris got five yards on that. So uh, we are going to have a uh, second and five. And I am going to go flat to the tight end, Cunningham. Flat pass to Cunningham. Looks like he's going to get it, and he does just over the line. First and 10 for Pittsburgh at the 38. Let's try to air this thing out and go long to Lewis. Just, you know, check it out. See if Bradshaw is the Bradshaw that we know about. And he isn't. It's incomplete. <laughs> Not that he isn't, but in that particular case, it was incomplete. So we got a second and 10. I'm going to go short to the flanker, Swan. We're going to go short to Lynn Swan. And he does get the first down and a lot more. That was sweet. All right, so we got a first and 10 at the San Francisco 21. And I am going to go line buck with Blyer again. We're going to, you know, we want to spread the wealth around. We're going to go off tackle with Harris on second and nine. Now, the San Francisco defense is all over that. All right, so we got a third and nine. Yeah, you're going to have to, we're going to have to go short, and I'm going to go short to Stallworth. And that's incomplete. Are you kidding me? All right, so Roy Jarrell is out to try a field goal, and I am going to kick the field goal. And he misses it. How? I just don't understand. I cannot believe that the card says that from that range he misses it. Like, I mean, most of these you have to, like, to miss it from that range, You it's like 2 to 10, and it misses on 11 and 12. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to look for the pass. We're going to put in a pass defense on first down with um, San Francisco first and 10 from their, uh, from their own 20. Now they got a second and eight from their 22 and I'm going to double team the flanker and put in a pass defense and they run the ball at figures and of course the steel defense the steel curtain defense is not there so San Francisco has a first and 10 at the 41 we're still in a 0-0 game with three minutes left in the first quarter I'm going to put in the linebacker blitz again and doesn't work particularly well. They get five yards. Second and five. I am going to put in the run. Put in the run defense. They do run the ball and we do stop them. So they've got a third and five. Now I'm going to guess that they'll pass. I'm just going to put in a plain pass defense, generic pass defense. And they run the ball, but we stop them. I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, we will put in the punt return. Um, formation and we're returning it with Jay Smith I don't know we're gonna try to catch the ball and run with it oh he fumbles get out of here I'm just gonna say fall on the ball so we've got a first and ten at uh, our own 15 yard line Let's go long to Swan on first down. 
That does not look like it's going to be on target at all, and it's second and ten. And I'm going to go flat pass to Blyer. And that's going to be incomplete, so we got a third and ten. All right, let's go short to Stallworth. And he does get the first down and five yards on top of it for good measure. So Pittsburgh has a first and 10 at our own 30. I'm gonna go off tackle with Harris. This really isn't the Pittsburgh team I was aware of, unless San Francisco was great in 1977. Alexa, what was the San Francisco 49ers record in 1977? The 49ers finished the 1977 season at 5 and 9. All right, so there you go. They were 5 and 9. So anyway, let's go short to Swan on 2nd and 11. And that's incomplete. He threw into traffic, and it was incomplete. So there's a 3rd and 11 at the Pittsburgh 29. Going to go short again. Short to Swan. in a 0-0 game. And that's incomplete. Bradshaw not having a good day. We are taking out the, uh, we're putting the punter out on the field, Walden. And he will punt the ball away. And they get a decent return. They have, they're going to have first and 10 at their own 32. I'm going to look for the run on first down. And they do run the ball. But they still get three yards out of it. Uh, let's go. Let's look for the run a second time in a row. Let's see if they do that. And they do. And we do stop them. It is third and four. And this time I'm going to look for the pass. Would put in the balance, but no, they don't. Well, we stopped them anyway. Nice. So they got a fourth and five. There's three and out, and they're gonna. We're gonna put in the punt return with Whittem punting the ball. Smith on the return. I am gonna try to catch the ball and run with it, even though he fumbled the last time. So we now have a first and 10 at, the, at our own 39-yard line. I'm going to go flat pass to Cunningham, the tight end. And that looks like it will be complete, and it is, and it gets a lot of yards. Lots of yards on that one. We, uh, yeah, that was a 30-yard pass there. So we got a first and 10 at the San Francisco 31. We're almost in... Well, I want to say we're almost in field goal range, but I don't know because Roy Jarella missed a little chip shot last time. And we, he gets stopped at the line. It's a second and nine at the 30. Let's go short to Swan, Swanee. Let's see if they can defend that. I mean, because the short pass, they have not been that great at defending it. Third and nine. Third and nine, let's go short to Stallworth. There is 10.08 left in the first half, and there's a penalty on the play. And I am going to certainly accept the penalty. So we have a first and 10 at the San Francisco 25. And let's go flat to Swan. Oh, it's intercepted. Are you crazy? We are having all kinds of trouble with this 5-9 and nine, um, San Francisco 49ers team. All right, I'm going to pass and, oh, okay, yeah, I got to double team somebody. I'm going to double team Washington. And he is passing, and we do sack him. So San Francisco has a, wait a minute, how do they have a first and 10 at the San Francisco 49? Oh, no, they don't. All right, so they've got a second and seven at the San Francisco 42, at their own 42, and we are going to look for the pass. I'll let the Pittsburgh defense take care of runs when they got to get a lot of yards. 
and that is incomplete. So they've got a third and 17. I am looking for the pass, and we're going to put in double team Washington just for good measure. And they pass, and we do luckily stop them. So they're going to have a fourth and six. We're going to put in the punt return. Nobody can get anything going here. 836 left in the half. And uh, it's 0-0 between the Pittsburgh Steelers of 1977 taking on the 1977 San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to try to go launch it again. Long to Stallworth. One of these times it has to work, you would think, and, and work big. But it doesn't. It's incomplete. So we're going to go flat pass. Cunningham again. That got a lot of yards last time. It was a 30-yard pickup the last time we did that. And it is complete. And he does get a first down and a little more, but this time not 30 yards. Instead, he only got 15. Gets half of that. I'm going to go off tackle with Maxson. And he gets a couple of yards. Three yards. Let's go line buck with Harris on second and seven. And he does go. Oh, he almost got the first down. It's third and two. We are going to go flat pass to the second tight end, Grossman. And he doesn't get it, but we have a fourth and one. And I'm going to put in the blocking back offense. And we're going to put in the line buck with Harris, Franco. Let's get this first down, Franco. And he does. And he gets a lot more than that. So we got a first and 10 at the 40 after a 15-yard run by Franco Harris. And we are going to go short to the flanker, Lewis. Bradshaw back to pass, surveying the field, and it's incomplete. I'm going to go flat pass to Stallworth. And he is looking over the field again, and it's complete to Stallworth, just short of a first down. It is a third and one, though, and we are going to go line buck with Bradshaw. Let's do Terry Bradshaw right up the middle. High diddle diddle Bradshaw up the middle, and he gets a first down. We've got a first and 10 at the 29 with 412 left. I'm going to do an end run with Franco Harris. And that doesn't look like it's going to get a lot of yards. Or, no, it doesn't. Second and eight, it got two yards. I'm going to do a look in pass to Swan. Oh! He's sacked. Bradshaw was sacked on that. Third and 13. We're going to go short to the split end, Stallworth. And it's going to be a first down and just a tad more. First and 10, 243 left in the half in a 0 0 game. I'm going to go short to Swan. I mean, we might as well keep passing. The running game isn't really going anywhere. And these short passes hit every once in a while, at least. Let's go look in pass to Stallworth on second and 10 from the San Francisco 17. And that is going to be complete, but not, well, no, it isn't. It's third and 10. I guess that was incomplete. So, uh, third and 10 from San Francisco 17. We're going to go short to Lewis. Lewis. And it is complete and for first down. And now we are right there. We, are, have, we have a first and goal at the San Francisco 4. 206 left. I am going to go line buck with Harris. And he does not get many yards. He gets one. We're going to go on second and goal with a minute 30. I'm going to go line buck with 
Blyer. And Blyer has a touchdown for Pittsburgh. Finally, we break through. And we're going to kick the extra point. And it is good, and it is 7 to nothing Pittsburgh late in the first half. A minute, um, a minute 15 left, and we're kicking off to San Francisco. And they will take it on the 20-yard uh, line for a touchback. Obviously, we're just going to put in the pass defense because, I mean, he can run all he wants, but we've got the steel curtain, and he doesn't have a lot of time. So I don't think he's really trying to score. He just wants to eat up the clock, and there's a flag on the play. But that was on us. It's a second and two. I'm still going to put in the pass defense. Second and two from San Francisco, 28, and we track down the linebacker. Third and two, or we track down the running back. And so on third and two, we're going to put in the run. I think that's what he's probably just going to do. He's just going to run the ball. No, Plunkett is back to pass. But it's incomplete anyway. Fourth and two, I'm putting in the punt return. But there's only a second left, so there's only going to be enough time for the punt. And then we're going to probably go on to the second half of the game. I'm just going to let the punt bounce, and they cover it up, and that's going to be it. And we're going to the second half with San Francisco kicking off to us. So we're ahead 7-0. Uh, we played an entire half, and the 1977 Steelers have only managed a 7-0 lead on the 1977 San Francisco 49ers. And, you know, I'm just I'm going to go look in pass to the split end. I'm just going to try to eat the clock. A little small, you know, ball control offense. Was that complete? Yep, three yards. So let's go draw play with Harris. I'm just trying to eat the clock and keep control of the ball. And we have a third and one. So I'm going to go line buck with Harrison. And he does get the first down, it appears, and he does. So we got a first and 10 at our 44. Going to go end run with Franco Harris. And he is not going to get a lot of yards. Second and 10 at the Pittsburgh 44. Let's do a short pass to the flanker. All right, I lied. I'm not going to just do a little small ball, ball control offense. We are going to try to get some yards, and Swan is going to do that for us. Swan might have a breakaway for a touchdown. No, he doesn't. They get him at the 10-yard line. So we have a first and goal from the San Francisco 10. And we're going to do a look-in pass to Cunningham. And is that complete? No, it's incomplete. So, second and goal to San Francisco 10. I'm going to go off tackle with Harris. Don't think that's going to get a lot of yards. Don't think that's going anywhere. Third and goal to San Francisco 10. Let's go short to Grossman, the tight end. No, he's going to get sacked. And he's going to fumble the ball. I'm going to pick up the ball and run with it. So we have a first and 10 because there was a change of possession on the fumble and we got the fumble back. So that is fortuitous for us because otherwise we would have had to try a field goal. I'm going to do a look in pass to Stallworth. And there is a penalty on the play. Computer's trying to get me any way he can. And that could be a touchdown. But is it on us? It is on us, it appears. It is. First and 20 at the San Francisco 25. Now I'm going to air it out. I'm going to go long to Stallworth. No! Bradshaw's going to get sacked. We're just going backwards. That's all that's happening here. 10.07 left. 
<laughs> in the third quarter. So we find ourselves with a second and 31 at the San Francisco 36. So I'm just going to try a flat pass to the tight end, Cunningham. We're just going to try to get into field goal range, if that's even possible. And it is going to be possible. We have a third and 18 at the 23. So let's try a look-in pass to Stallworth. Doesn't have to get a lot of yards, just, well, it doesn't get any. Incomplete, we're going to try another field goal with Jarella. Looks like he's going to hit this one. So we do have a 10-0 lead now. And we are kicking off. To San Francisco, up 10-0. With 8.58 left in the third quarter of the game. And they get a great return by Hofer. And uh, Plunkett has his team out at the 25 for a first and 10. We're going to put in the pass defense because now he's got to get going. I mean, if they want to run the ball now on the steel curtain, I'm fine with that. And we will take care of that with our front four defensively and we do stop the runner so we're going to put in the pass and he has a third and three at his own 32 and uh, now they get the first down and a lot more from that first and 10 at the 46 for the San Francisco 49ers And we're off sides on top of everything. <laughs> so he has a first and five at the Pittsburgh 49. He's in our territory now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I All this talking, it's just uh, killing my throat. Um, I, I guess we're going to run and key on Williams. Let's see what happens there when he tries. No, now he's passing. So he's juking me out. And, but we do get him. He has a first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 39. I guess we better stop him soon. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs the ball. And can we recover that possibly? Yeah, I'm just going to fall on it. Nice. All right. So we picked up a fumble recovery. <laughs> and I'm going to go flat to Swan. Maybe we'll try that ball control offense I talked about. Of course, that was a pass to nobody. And it's second and 10. And we're going to go off tackle with Harris. And there's a penalty on the play again. But I'm going to accept it. And so we have a first and 10 at midfield, right at midfield. <laughs> And we're going to do a draw play with Harris. And that gets some yards. That is some nice yards there. Second and five at the San Francisco 45. I'm going to do a flat pass to Stallworth. And it's incomplete. And we got a third and five. I'm going to go off tackle third and five with Harris. Let's see what happens there. They weren't expecting it, and he got the first down. So first and 10 at the San Francisco 37. I'm going to do a look in to Stallworth. And it's going to be complete for a first down. First and 10 at the San Francisco 27, and we're going to do a look in pass to Swan. Let's see if that does something. And that's going to be complete. He doesn't quite get the first down, but, you know, close enough. We're going to do a line buck with Harrison. And he gets a first down and a lot. We're down to the three. 
And pretty soon I'm going to have laryngitis, so you might have to just watch the game. <clears throat> Let's try a short pass to the second tight end, Grossman. And that's incomplete, looks like. Second and goal at the three. Let's do a line buck with Blyer. And there's a penalty on the play. Is it on them? No. <clears throat> Second and goal to 13. Let's do a short pass to Swan. That's incomplete. Uh, let's try a third and goal from a 13. We're going to do short pass to Stallworth. No, he's going to get sacked. All right, let's try the field goal with Jarella. God only knows if he'll hit it. And he does. So it is 13 nothing, and we're kicking off. <clears throat> San Francisco returning with Hofer. Good return by Hofer. Jarella has to get him at the 40 yard line. So they have a first and 10 at their own 40 with 45 seconds left in the third quarter, and I'm not going to be able to talk very much longer. I'm putting in a pass defense. <coughs> Dang. Well, we sacked Plunkett. So uh, we have a uh, – we've got him – We've got him uh, hemmed up now. <clears throat> I'll put in a pass defense. <clears throat> I apologize for my voice. It doesn't usually I mean I've done this before, and this doesn't really generally happen. We're in the fourth quarter, third and seven for San Francisco at their own 43, and we are going to put in... Um, the pass. And it is going to be intercepted. I could see that coming. We're going to return it. I'm going to try to gain some yards. We don't, but we have the ball first and 10 at the Pittsburgh 41. Let's try a flat to Smith, the halfback. And that's going to be complete. We've got a second and five. Let's do a line buck with Thornton. And he only gets a yard or two. No gain, actually. We'll do a draw play with Maxson. On third and five. Probably wasn't the greatest idea, but we can punt because we're up by 13 with only 12.50 left in the game. <laughs> so San Francisco has a first and 10 at the 30. And I mean, definitely put in the pass defense. And he runs the ball. I don't know how he thinks he has time for that, but <clears throat> we're going to put in the pass defense. And it's third and five, and Plunkett's not even in anymore. <clears throat> Incomplete. We'll put in the pun return. 
man, I am barely, I'm telling you, I'm barely going to make it through this game with my voice. If that. Uh, return by Smith. I'm going to try to return it. Any fumbles, of course. I'm going to try to pick it up and run with it. And yeah, okay. So we do have it. I'm going to put in a line buck with Harris. And he gets eight, eight yards on that. Yep. Line buck with Blyer. <clears throat> he gets first down. And it's going to be first and 10 for Pittsburgh at the 25. I'll put in a flat pass to the tight end, Cunningham. And that was completed. Second and nine, though. Only a yard. <laughs> we'll go off tackle with Harris. Just keep ground and pound. Keep the ball on the ground. Third and seven at the Pittsburgh 28. I will do a looking pass to Cunningham. And I think we got a first down. We did. First and 10. And I will go short to the flanker swan. And that's completed for a 15-yard uh, gain. 16. <clears throat> My God, this is crazy. My throat is just, I can't even talk. Off tackle with Maxson. And uh, that's going to be a nice gain of seven yards. Second and three. <clears throat> We're going to do a looking pass. Flanker. 6.32 left in the game, thank God. Because I almost can't talk anymore. Um, third and three. Let's go off tackle with Harrison. And he's going to get the first down. First and 10 at 39 with 533 left. Do a flat to the tight end Cunningham. Incomplete. Uh, end run with a halfback. And that's going to be only a gain of three. So we've got a third and seven. Third and seven, I'll do a look in to Cunningham. And that's first down and some more. First and 10 at the San Francisco 27. Let's go look into the second tight end, Grossman. And that's going to be a first down. First and 10 at the San Francisco 17. We just keep moving the ball. Let's go off tackle with Harrison. And he gets three yards on that, four yards. Second and six at the San Francisco 13. I'm going to go short, see if we can get it right now. Let's go short to the main tight end, Cunningham. And that is going to be a touchdown for Cunningham. And we will kick the extra point. And that puts us up 20 to nothing. And we're going to kick off 232 left in the game. 
And I am only going to talk intermittently from now on, so just watch the rest of the action as it unfolds. Nice interception. First and 10 at the 35 of San Francisco for the Pittsburgh Steelers. <clears throat> Unbelievable, the second string quarterback nailed a long pass. Second and goal, minute seven left. Third and goal, 15 seconds. I'm going to kick the field goal. And we make it. 23 nothing. Eight seconds left. So that's game over. Uh, let's go look at the box score. <clears throat> Pittsburgh winning 23 nothing. Plunkett for them was only four of eight, 50 yards passing. And Scott Bull was 0 for 3. For us, Bradshaw was 20 of 40 for 273 yards and an interception. And Neil Graff was 3 of 4 for 47 yards and a touchdown. He had a passer rating of 153 and 153.1. Uh, for them, running the ball, they had Delvin Williams, 13 rushes for 33 yards. Wilbur Jackson, 7 for 51. Paul Hofer, 3 for 8. We had Franco Harris rush 16 times for 61 yards. Rocky Blyer, 6 times for 16. And Reggie Harrison, 4 rushes for 24 yards. And Elvin Maxson, 3 for 9. <clears throat> and uh, just take a look at these receiving stats. You can feel free to look. I'm not going to go down them because I can't hardly talk anymore. So I hope you enjoyed that game, even though I lost my voice near the end. But that will be it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke signing off from Pittsburgh.